Hello, um, I want to show you how to make uh, 3D titles with shadow casting uh, in Photoshop using a filter called Sowers 3D Evigo Error. Okay, um, this is what something like what we're gonna make. Okay, uh, first let's import our picture. Okay, um, pictures. Okay. This one. Okay. Um. We make a copy, and we want to make it a three uh, a smart object. So we right click it on it, and we uh, just press on convert to a smart object. Just like that. And now we go to filter. Sour Sour 3D Bigoider. Okay, um, we create a 3D text. Let's do, um, something like Louis88123, which is my channel. Let's press OK. Oh no, this is kind of slow because I have a slow computer. So right here we have our 3D title. Now we need to fix the the, um, the scene. So let's press on camera, camera, and let's use one of these of uh, movement tools, like this one, and press and shift. We're gonna rotate it. That's what you think is right, and let's press Alt. Just give the perspective that you think it's gonna work. Okay. Um. Now let's use this one and let's bring it down. Okay. Uh, like that. Let's use this one again. The shift. Oh, that's not working. Okay, undo it. Um, let's press shift and... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Our letters are way in the front, so let's push on object mode. And let's choose the dolly. And let's push him back right here. Uh, still in object mode, let's rotate our letters by pressing shift and let's rotate him like that. <coughs> okay, um, let's do a render test. Okay, right here on the right we have, I already make um, style letters. So I'm gonna use this one for this tutorial. Surrender test. No, oh, I don't like it. Maybe this one. Render test. Oh, come on. I forgot which one I use. Okay, uh, let's, what about this one? Let's do render test. Mm, this one. Render test. Okay, uh, this one is cool. 
Okay, uh, these are the materials our title style is using right now. This one. You can change any of these or customize them. Uh, right here you have like lots and lots of materials. Let's see if you want to change this color to this. Just do a render test. And you look at far sequence to myself by going here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna do it. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make a really um, quick tutorial, but I want you guys to um, understand as much as possible about this program. Okay, oh, we have our. 3D titles, but we have no shadows, and we uh, want to make them. So the way to do it is you need to go here, right here on your left, and let's create a 3D primitive. Just by clicking on it. Now it's right here, but it's, you cannot see it because it's way in the front. So let's make sure we have object mode. Click on and use your our dolly. Let's just push it back. That's where your legs are. But we don't want the sphere. We want uh, we want something else. So we have to go here on object controls and instead of the sphere, we want a plane. Right. But right here in info. Uh, we want the S position to be 90 there and now we uh, we can go ahead and increase our width and increase our height let's do a render this as you can see we have our plane And uh, something else, we have no lighting. Or maybe we do, I don't know. Okay, we're not casting any shadows. The way to fix that is because we need to create a material for our plane. One that will cast shadows on it. The way to do it is uh, to make sure you have click on your plane. And let's go to material editor right here. Let's create a new one. A shadow cashier right here. Just drop it on it. Like that. That's it. That's all you have to do. Do it. Render this. So you can see oh, our plane is gone and there's no shadows. Why is that? Because we need to go to light editor. And make sure uh, shadow casting is click on. So let's do another render test. So you can see um, there's the shadows. But I don't want this lighting setup in particular. So you can go here on your right where it says light switches and just like I'm gonna pick up something, something like this. Let's try it, just double click it and do a render test. Oh again, don't forget to do to click on shadow casting. Okay again, render test. You can see that there's our shadows, but they're too big for me, so um you can go ahead and like far customize it to your liking. Do, let's try this. No. Maybe not. Yeah, something like that. Let's go to light number two. This one. Maybe something like that. Uh, no. Let's do it. 
Okay. I think this works for me. Let's see right now. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's move on. So we have our three titles, casting shadows, and let's go ahead and press OK. It's taking, uh, it's taking very long. Okay, right here. Um, I have a problem with my graphics card. You can see I have a way to fix this. It will, it will be to save it. Press yes. I'm going to save it as a tutorial. Tutorial. on my desktop. Replace it, yes, because I already have one like this. Okay. So there, I close it. And I had to close my program as well. Close everything. And now I have to reopen it. See, the graphics problem is gone. I don't know, I gotta fix my um, my dr a driver or some, something with my graphics. I uh, have to check on that. Okay, um, what about if I want to customize the intensity of the shadow? Because I don't want it to be so intense. The way I would do that is by uh, making a new new layer, new empty one, and let's make a smart smart object as well. Now I would just drop this effect onto it. to wait again. Oh my. Okay, um, as you can see, I have my three layers right on this layer. Okay, uh, so I had to duplicate, I had to duplicate it. And now um, I'm going to tell you why in a, in a few moments. Sorry about this. Okay, um, this one. Let's click right here and let's go to 3D Big Waiter to far, to far, um, modify it. Uh, sorry about my English as well. I just really hope you can understand what I say. Okay, right here. Surrender, so please. As you can see, right here is a tree title, but I don't want that to be the shadow casting for this, so I'm just gonna turn it off. And I'm just gonna press OK. right here okay so i have my three title without any shadows why because i have this have this one <coughs> so i will just adjust the opacity that way i can fix the shadow casting to my liking uh, maybe like that. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. 
So that's it. That's how you that's how you do three tiles in shadow casting right inside Photoshop CS5 using this cool plugin Sours 3D Bigator. I hope you like the tutorial and if you do please do comment and I will I will be um trying to get more cool cool tutorials for you guys. That's this one or cooler, even cooler. Well that's it for for this tutorial and please comment and subscribe. Thank you, bye.